Hey guys, Stuart here. Now, last year I built a now popular all-in-one CRM with Google Sheets, App Script, and your favorite Google Apps. And since then, many of you have reached out and asked for a similar toolkit, but instead for bookkeeping activities. So with all the positive requests and feedback, I've now created a 10-in-one bookkeeping toolkit designed to help you better manage your personal and business finances through income and expense tracking, an invoice generator, task management, reporting, and access to seven visual and custom accounting dashboards. Pretty cool, huh? Now, my focus today is to show you how this works and how you can make the most of my bookkeeping toolkit, which I've called Sheetify Bookkeeping. Okay, so this is a new product that I recently launched, and as I mentioned, this is called Sheetify Bookkeeping. This is our all-in-one dynamic and data-driven bookkeeping platform built with Google Sheets and integrated with your favorite Google apps. And today I'm going to walk through a complete Sheetify bookkeeping tutorial showing you how to get up and running with this template in minutes. Sheetify bookkeeping allows you to stay on top of all your bookkeeping and accounting needs from managing all your assets and liabilities as well as income and expenses through to automatically generating invoices, managing accounting tasks, and visually understanding how your business's finances are performing. This is with our seven dynamic visual dashboards, allowing you to understand the health of your business, as well as forecasting and achieving your financial goals. Okay, so to get started, once you've purchased Sheetify Bookkeeping, simply open up this PDF. Then come down and click on Get Template. And that's gonna take you to this folder. We have a custom invoice that we can set up, our Sheetify bookkeeping template, and our Sheetify guide and licensing PDF. Let's go ahead and open up Sheetify bookkeeping. Then navigate over to File and make a copy. Then come down and name this template. You can add your business name if you like. I'm just going to add Sheetify bookkeeping demo. Then come down to Folder and choose a location. I'm just going to select My Drive for now. And then click on Make a Copy. Then simply give Sheetify Bookkeeping a moment to load the Sheetify menu and this scroll down option. This can take a few moments the very first time you open up your own copy of this template. Then navigate over to Sheetify and then click on Set up Sheetify Bookkeeping and Set Authorization. Come down, click on OK. Choose the Google account that you use to open up Sheetify Bookkeeping. Navigate over to Advanced and then click on Go to Sheetify Bookkeeping. Now, if you see that warning, don't be alarmed. This is normal because you're essentially allowing your Sheetify Bookkeeping template to access your other different Google apps. But remember, at the moment, only you have access to this template because you created your own version. Then come down and click on Allow. And just like that, we've set up Sheetify Bookkeeping. Now, let's navigate back over to Sheetify. And what we can do is open up Quick Start if we click here, and that's gonna open up this Quick Start Guide. Now, if you prefer to learn through reading, then you can make use of this Quick Start Guide. However, we'll be covering everything in this tutorial. Now, we can also navigate up to Sheetify again, and then come down and click on Hide Quick Start, and that's gonna hide this Quick Start option from your menu down below. Okay, so let's first cover settings. Here, you want to select the currency that you wanna use inside Sheetify Bookkeeping, as well as the start month of your financial year, as well as the start year. So here we have our five fiscal years starting from 2024. However, if I change this to 2025, that's gonna update the coverage period. Let's change this back to 2024. Then navigate down the page. This is where you can add notes, resources, and links that are relevant to you. If we navigate across, we have profit goals. For example, let's focus on 2024 and add some profit goals for each of these months. As you can see, I've quickly added 10K for each month, and these are my monthly profit goals. We can also navigate down to business goals and define our business goals in here. Okay, let's navigate back up to income categories. This is where you can add specific income categories. You can see we've added some default options up here. I'm gonna leave these as they are for the purpose of this tutorial, as well as for the expense categories. However, if you like, simply add your new expense categories or income categories down here or change the existing options. Then what we want to do is navigate down to reporting email. Here, you simply want to add the reporting emails that you want to send reports to. And if we navigate up to Sheetify and then come down to Reportify, if we click on send all reports, that's going to send a snapshot of all these different reports directly into the emails that you added down here. You can also send these individual dashboard reports by simply clicking here. And that's gonna send a PDF snapshot of those reports to the reporting emails that you have added down here. You can also click on set up weekly reporting and every Monday you will receive a snapshot of all reports. Okay, we'll talk more about that soon. Let's navigate down to income 
and add our first income value. I'm going to add the date as well as the ID, then the item over here. This income transaction is from an ebook that we sold. And if I navigate across here, I can choose the category. Let's say I sold this product via Shopify sales, then add the amount as well as tax and fees where applicable. Now, what we can do is also leverage this tax calculator to determine the amount of tax that we need to pay. For example, I'm going to add 59, which is the price of this ebook, which we just sold. And let's say the tax rate is 15%, 0.15. So the amount of tax for this specific product, this $59 ebook is $8.85. So I'm going to add that amount in here and then transaction fees of $3. And we can see the net income over here for this particular transaction. Now, what we can do is add another transaction down here, or we can simply navigate up to the Sheetify menu and then click on add income. And that's going to add a new row at the top. This saves us scrolling all the way down the bottom when you have hundreds and thousands of transactions. So I'm going to quickly add another income transaction. And as you can see, one of the items we sold was a web design package. The category was web service. This was the amount, the tax and fees. Now up here, you can see the total amount of income transactions, as well as total tax, total fees, and total net income over here. Okay, so we got two transactions. Let's now navigate over to expenses and quickly add two expenses, similar to how we added two income transactions. Okay, so as you can see, I've added two expense transactions. We have a web developer expense, which is a salary. Let's say we paid a contractor to develop our website. That cost us $2,000. 100 of that was tax and 200 of that was fees. And you can see the net expense over here. And then we have Shopify subscription, which is a subscription under category, and then the amount tax and fees. Again, tax and fees are optional. Again, we have a tax calculator that we can take advantage of. And up here we have all time totals, total amount, total tax, total fees, and total net expense. Now let's navigate down to monthly dashboard. And this is where we can see the financial performance of a specific month. Let's navigate up to April and change this to July and then change the year to 2024. Here we have income and expense details in terms of categories. We have total income this month, total expense, profit and loss and profit margin. We have a snapshot of our income breakdown as well as expense breakdown, income versus expenses, our profit goals, and because we're in a deficit this month, we are nowhere near achieving our $10,000 goal. Our current profit for the month is minus $242. So we're a bit off achieving this goal here. We also have expense breakdown down below. Now we can also navigate across to annual dashboard. Again, let's change the calendar year to 2024. And you can see our annual performance from January 2024 to December 2024, this financial year. We have monthly income and expenses, our profit goal progress for the entire year, monthly income, annual overview, income breakdown, expense breakdown, and monthly profit. You can see that's in a deficit. If we navigate down the page, you can see our profit margins per month and our income per month based on the category. We can also navigate down the page and look at the same for expenses. Now, in terms of dashboards, if we navigate down to five-year dashboard, we can see a five-year overview, simply add the start year, and you can see performance over five years. And this allows you to analyze how you've been performing over a five year period. Again, we have similar snapshots and graph breakdowns that you can find in monthly dashboard and the annual dashboard. So take the time to analyze each of these graphs. Then if we navigate across, we also have a custom dashboard. We can choose the start date and the end date. I'm gonna change this end date to 2024 and I'm happy with this. And you can see the financial performance of your business over this period. Here's our income breakdown, expense breakdown, based on category net profit and tax down below. Again, if we navigate across to comparison dashboard, this is where you can compare three different date ranges. And you can see this important data like income versus expenses, profit growth, total income and expenses, total income breakdown, as well as total expenses and total income again based on categories. Let's navigate across. We also have sales tax. Let's change the calendar year and you can see the tax that you've collected as well as the tax that you've paid. Here we have a breakdown of sales tax per month as well as fees per month. Let's navigate over to balance sheet. Here you can simply add your current assets, fixed long-term assets, other assets, and then we have liabilities down here as well as owner's equity. Then you can see your calculated financial ratios down here. Okay, so that's a brief overview of the financial dashboards that allow you to see a visual representation of your cash flow and financial health of your business. 
Now, for example, if we navigate over to annual dashboard and let's say we wanted a report, a snapshot of this data, all we need to do is navigate up to Sheetify, then Reportify and then locate, send annual dashboard and click here. And as you can see, you have sent an annual report to these two emails. And remember, you can add those emails under setup and then down under reporting email. And here's the PDF that has been sent to my email inbox. See attach file if we click here. And here we have the annual overview as a PDF. We can simply download this report if we like by navigating up to download. Okay, let's head back to Sheetify Bookkeeping. And again, if we navigate up to Sheetify and click on add expense, that's gonna take us to the expense sheet where we can add a new expense down here. Now, what we can also do is click on scroll down and that's gonna take you to the very bottom of all your transactions. Let's say you had a transaction on row 87, then if you click on scroll down, that's gonna take you all the way down to the deepest row or transaction that you've added down here. Now let's navigate over to tasks. This is where you can manage your bookkeeping tasks. For example, let's add a task name. The task name is called send invoice. Add a description here. The description is send an invoice to Sam at Sam's Furniture. Let's add priority, which is medium, the status over here in progress. And you can see we get this notification, status date updated, and this status date will be updated automatically. So every time you change the status, this date will be updated to the date that that status has been changed. You can add the due date, let's say next Monday, and then add the time in here. And you can add anything in here. For example, let's go 12.30. Now what we can do with each of these bookkeeping tasks is we can automatically send these tasks to our Google Task app. And you can access the Google Task app from inside your web version over on the right hand side by clicking tasks or from the Google Tasks mobile app. So what we can do is simply click on this task, navigate up to Sheetify, and then click on Taskify. And as you can see, task added to bookkeeping task list. If we click on my tasks, and then come down and locate bookkeeping tasks, that's gonna take us to this task list where we can see all our tasks that we've sent from our Sheetify bookkeeping directly into the Google Task app. Again, you can access this on your mobile device too, if you like. And you can see details about this task, and you can also modify these if you like. Now, only you will see these tasks in your Google Task app. If someone else was logged into your Sheetify bookkeeping account, and they navigated up to Sheetify and clicked on Taskify, that's gonna send the specific task to their Google Task app. We can also click here, and make this task recurring if we like. Let's close out of the Google Task app. Now to add a new task, we can simply add a new task down here, or we can click on the Sheetify menu and click on Add Task, and that's gonna add a new task up above. Okay, so let's navigate back up to Sheetify, and we also have the option to set up invoicing. Now what we've created inside Sheetify Bookkeeping is a way for you to generate invoices for your customers. This is using Google Docs, Google Forms, and Google Sheets. For example, let's generate a new invoice. To do that, simply navigate up to Setup Sheetify Invoicing. And you'll see these notifications pop up down here. Essentially, Sheetify Bookkeeping is setting up the ability to generate invoices for your clients inside your account. Then you'll be taken back to Settings, and if we navigate across over to these settings here, you can see all this data has been generated and I'll cover this shortly. First, what we wanna do is find the invoice template ID. To do that, simply head back to the folder that you have access to when you first got started with Sheetify Bookkeeping. And here we are inside this folder. Then what we wanna do is click on this custom Sheetify invoice, navigate up to these three dots, and then click on make a copy. And then come down to show file location and simply open up that document. And that's gonna open up this copy of the Sheetify invoice template. You can also change the name up here if you like, and you want to take some time to make changes to this invoice. Add your business name, business address, as well as add your website URL if you have one. Then all you need to do is navigate down the page to payment details and add your payment details as well as terms and conditions. All of this data here you want to leave as it is because we're gonna automatically generate this information. Okay, so once you've made some small customizations, to your business details, as well as payment details and terms and conditions, what we wanna do is simply click on the URL and copy this code up here. So this is the code that we want to copy. Right click, click on copy, and then head back to Sheetify Bookkeeping. Then navigate over to Invoice Template ID and paste the link in here. And that's all we need to do. Now, if we come down here, you can see Invoice Folder URL. This is where 
you can find all your invoices. So once you generate a invoice, you can find them all in this folder. Then if we come down under invoice form link, this is the form that you can share with your customers to fill out their business details, or you can fill out this form yourself. For example, let's click on this form and then open up this Google form. Now, if you like, you can make changes to the look and style of this form. However, you wanna keep all of this information the same down here. Simply take the time to add the invoice number, invoice date, the due date, add the first name of the customer, last name, as well as the company name, street address, their phone number, email, and you can add a discount in here if you like, this is optional. And this is a dollar value, for example, you can add 50 for $50 off. Then down here we can add the units. We have unit one, description and price. So what is the unit? For example, I could add website package. The description could be, this is our e-commerce web design package, and then the price down here. Then these other units are optional. We have unit two, as well as the description and price, unit three, unit four, and unit five, which are all optional. Okay, so I'm going to take the time to quickly fill this out. Okay, so as you can see, I've quickly added the new invoice number, invoice date, first name of the customer, last name, company name, street address, phone, email, the discount, unit one, description, and price. So this is a web design max package. This is the description and the price down here. We also have unit two, which is another service that we offer, Google Ads. This is the description, three months of Google Ads management, and that is $900. Okay, if I come down and click on submit, and just like that, in a few clicks, we generated a new invoice. To generate a new invoice, simply click on Submit Another Response. Let's head back to Sheetify Bookkeeping. And now, if we navigate over to Invoices Folder URL and open up this folder, you can see we have the new invoice generated here. Let's go ahead and open up this document. And you can see all this information has been automatically generated, as well as the billing information, the unit names, which is Web Design Max, Google Ads, the description, as well as the unit prices, and then we have the discount value down here and the balance that is due. And then what we can do is simply navigate up to file and download this as a PDF if we like, or we can simply share this document with our customers. If you're using our Sheetify CRM, what you can do is share this document and add it to an email and send that email using our email marketing capabilities inside our Sheetify CRM. Pretty cool, right? Again, let's head back to our Sheetify bookkeeping and soon what we're going to do is release more invoice templates that you have access to that you can simply add the ID in here and use different templates. We can also navigate down to form responses and you can see all your form responses over here. We can also navigate down here and change the name if we like, as well as hide this sheet. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this Sheetify bookkeeping platform. Again, if you want to learn more about our Sheetify CRM or Sheetify bookkeeping, you can find all the relevant resources down below in the description. And there we have it for this Sheetify bookkeeping tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about my Sheetify CRM or bookkeeping toolkit, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.